it's an event, I believe, so. This is the more difficult of the two, though. Or three. Technically only two, you know what I mean. Because it involves elementals. And if you cast magic around elementals, which I'm going to have to watch out for, they get very angry. Like, really angry. To the point where they're probably going to murder you. Vaughn, you're dying. Can you stop that? It's because he doesn't have protect. She's getting lazy with her protecting. Also, he's being put to sleep constantly, which probably isn't helping. I don't remember where the elemental is in this area, so I'm, I'm gonna get someone killed, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep an eye on that combat log, and then suddenly it's gonna say, so-and-so elemental cast silence. I'm gonna be very upset. Oh, come on. Potion. Because we needed more potions. We already have a billion of them. I ain't even bought any for ages. I think it's somewhere in the center, but it also moves. Oh, you know, we never actually got a time mage, did we? Hmm. I wanted a time mage. Do we still have another character to get? I don't think we do. Unless I'm remembering wrong. I think everyone's already got a license board. Please stop putting me to sleep. Or trying to put me to sleep. Ding. A musk stick. Hmm. I'm not really sure how I feel about picking up a musk stick from over here. No. Got all of them? All right. It's one of those Final Fantasies where you get them all really early. Who paints serious? Ooh. What is that? Oh, it's a gun. Which means I'll never be using it, so never mind. Still no sign of the elemental, which is... I'm slightly more concerned about the fact that we haven't seen it yet. They're not aggressive either until you cast magic and then they're aggressive. I think it's an earth elemental and maybe... Oh, there it is. Hello. Let's turn off... Pinello's gambits and Ash for now. Just kill this dude off. It's a fire elemental, as it turns out. How you doing, buddy? It's level 45, 48,000 hit points. There he is. He's a friendly little guy. Just kind of floats around, you know? Doing his thing until you cast magic and then he tries to consume your soul. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's turn Ash and Penelo back on. I think we should be out of range now. And it'll just roam around the area. I don't know its path that it follows, but... Probably just runs around... We're actually on the final chain, too. Probably just runs around these couple over here. I love the final chain level. I'm just gonna step on that, because I don't care. Because you get such good like item drops and bonuses and stuff. Echo herbs. It's a lot of treasure up here. I'm wary about missing any. Because it could be good. Like wizard's robes to go with our wizard's hat. This is probably going to hurt someone. Yeah, hurt a little bit. Then I have to get out of here, which... Am I going? No, I'm actually going back the way I came from. Well, there was stuff to kill and a treasure to pick up. I got distracted. So much stuff. Did everything respawn? What happened here? It's fine by me. I mean, they give decent experience, so... 
I don't really need any info on it. We're not going to kill it. I'm just trying to avoid it. The thing's evil. I don't want anything to do with it. It looks like everything has respawned. We haven't even left the area. This is why you get such a huge chain up here. It's great fun. And then by the time we get to the next shot, we'll have so much stuff to sell. We should have enough to gear everyone again. As long as I don't get everyone killed. Because I angered the elemental. We're good. And she's actually maintaining a usable amount of MP, which is fine. And there it is again. Did it just aggro to that guy? I think it did. And then just buggered off. I guess it just hangs out over there. Kind of in my way, but it's also right next to the exit, so I guess they did that for a reason. I can fairly easily run away from it. Like over here playing like stealth with a fire elemental. It's fine, don't worry about it. Just need to actually go the right way to the exit this time. They're always docile. The, there's lower level versions of those, which we won't see for a while, that are not docile, but they're also a lower level, so they're much less of a threat. Doing this game again where I just run around in circles, aren't we? Am I going the wrong way? I am. Let's go this way. Let us slowly, and by slowly I mean we're already there, meander our way towards the exit to the next area. There's actually two exits here. Ah, that one goes back there. Um, I believe this goes to the Zertan and Caves? Or whatever they're called? I didn't want to show you me breaking a 100 plus chain, just do that a couple times. I'm already at, like, a what chain are we at? I don't know, you can keep that going for quite a while. And then if you just employ the two zone approach and just run with uh, R2 so you don't engage anything, you can keep the chain going. And then zone back and it'll respawn all the enemies. I don't know where this one goes, though. Hmm. Either way, we want to go this way, so... Time to run over here and probably immediately break our chain, because we're fighting something stupid. Back to... where are we? Which way am I going? Let's check out this side! There's tomatoes. But there might be loot over here. Hmm. It's people. This is going to break the chain, but I want to know if there's loot over here. The chain gives you buffs and... Um, better loot. It does nothing to the experience. So all that was getting me is better loot, really. Which is all fine and dandy, but we've already got a ton of stuff to sell just from doing that 96 chain. That loot was fairly mediocre for the cost, but hey. Now I don't feel bad about not checking it. And we would have actually immediately broken the, the 100 mark if I'd just gone this way. Oh well. Oh. Such is the cost of exploring. Can we stop attacking her? That'd be great. 102 gil. That was totally worth the however many seconds it took me to get over there. My time is more valuable than this game. Especially considering I believe we're already technically at the level where we can handle the boss at the end of this fairly easily. What? 
What level are we at, actually? 16? Yeah, we should be able to handle the boss already, and we're gonna gain at least another level on the way there. In fact, it looks like you may be able to go through almost this entire area and continue the chain, so you wouldn't have to run through it. That's handy. I do wish some of them didn't have bows. It means the AI does this. Hey! I don't think you continue the chain. Do you? He's dead. Did he continue the chain? He did. Oh, he's not dead. Are you like a... rare or something? I don't remember this dude being here. He hits kinda hard. He doesn't break the chain. And he gives three LP. Fancy. That was really unnecessary, by the way. I wasn't terribly happy about that. I run for a potion. I think the beginning of this area is also the same enemies. There's a lot of those enemies around here. <laughs> you might have noticed. Oh, you know what? There's a item. That's the wrong button. Time to take a drink again. There's an item somewhere in here, isn't there? Or is it down here? It's the flowers. There's a thing there. Hmm. Where does that come from? I don't know where that comes from, actually. Not from down there. That's a different area. That leads right there. So where did that middle one come from? Hmm. We're going to start this chain of events, but, you know. Oh, you get the flower from this zone. Is it from this chain of events? I don't remember. There's a giant turtle over there, and if we go kill the turtle and come back here, we get an event, and I guess that's where you get the flower. You know, we'll, we will do that. It doesn't take very long, and we're fast-forwarding, so... And it's really helpful. If you touch a save crystal, by the way, it breaks your chain. So if you're going for maximum chainage, don't touch save crystals. Don't even look at save crystals. They're poisonous. The flowers take off 50% uh, of the boss's health. So if you're having trouble with the boss, you can go get those and it'll take off a big chunk of health. What's going on back here? Dangles can't even handle one. Me and Vossler are over here mass murdering the population. I hate try attack with passion. Mostly because it does a lot of damage. I don't really care about the status ailments because those trigger so rarely. It just does a lot of damage. It's like 200 when they normally do 30. It's not fun at all. Ash, you wanna... <laughs> Don't know what you were doing, but uh, yeah. This is the most efficient curing I've ever seen. Because I've got too much HP on uh, Vaughn here. He's a powerhouse. He's even stronger than Vossler. Despite Vossler being a higher level. And the turtle's in this zone, isn't it? 14 whole gill. And we're gonna kill all of the things around the turtle before we even hit the turtle. Don't mind us. May as well fast forward it, the turtle's not a hard fight. You're gonna kill the turtle anyway, so... 
quite weak against magic. That's handy to know. Although Blizzard is taking a, quite a fortune of MP to do. In fact, it's casting magic. I don't know how I feel about that. You want to die? I mean, Pinello's tanking it like a boss. There we go. And now we run back this way. I'm going to use the flowers. I don't believe you get anything for not using them. They just take up inventory space. Although, not like you have limited inventory space, but, you know. I don't think you get any sort of, like, bonus later on in the game or something. Hello, goodbye. There's a staff taking up most of my screen. And someone's bum. I don't remember how to fully trigger this event. Do we just go over here and then run back? Is that what happens? Let's see if this triggers it. No. So we have to go find them, don't we? Alright, well, off we go! I was hoping I could just do that and make it trigger, but nope. That's not how this works. I probably have to walk like five feet forward or something stupid. Or get, or get protect cast on me. Yeah, that works too. Yep, just had to walk slightly forward. Herp the dur. Look how excitedly he shakes his head. Can one of the other mage jobs take over the role that the time mage fulfills? I think maybe the red mage can do basic stuff. Or maybe not. Hmm. You can't, because I know you have shell and stuff. Black mage? Nope. It doesn't seem like it. Unless it's buried, like, somewhere that God knows where deep in the tree here. Doesn't look like we get, uh, I scrolled over it. Well, yeah, but that's not the time magic I care about. I was looking for haste. I was hoping you would get haste, but not hastega. Which the time mage would get, because that's his job. That's disappointing. And now we get this lovely scene with the freaky looking lady in the front there about to give a lovely speech.
Hooray! He evaporated. Or something. I leave flowers. Right there. Oop. A bunch of berries hang from the flower. There we go. What do you have to say? Probably something about something. Oh, it's going to tell us there's flowers there that we should go look at. Already done it, game. Did he plant it while he was evaporating into dust? Seems highly unlikely. The number on the actual, um... The number on the actual, like, license board slot is irrelevant to the level of this spell. It just refers to the, the slot number. So Time Magic 3 is the third slot of Time Magic. Time Magic is a little bit more iffy than, say, Black Magic, because Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder are level 1 Black Magic spells. But they're in different slots. So. But Time Magic, something like Haste would be a level 1 spell, and Hestega would be a level 2 spell, or probably level 3, and level 2 would be stuff like... Uh, Vanish, or something like that. Time Magic doesn't really have a traditional level. It's a bit word. A bit word. I wonder how well we'll be able to handle the actual dungeon after the boss. This is the wrong way, here we go. But having said that, I don't know if haste is on the number one license board slot for time magic. It probably is, but it could be the number two board. Although I don't know what number one would be. Slow? No, that's on some other, that's on, like, Black Magic or something, isn't it? They adjusted everything and everything's on different slots and crap now. Where am I going? I need to go this way. It's like a... I hate this, this area because there's a billion locations to go through and they're all trapped. Although they do still have these guys, so we will get some decent loot. Like, teleport stones, apparently. That's handy. What? What are the other classes I have for my group? Go ahead and show you. I have Knight, Red Mage, Samurai, Monk, White Mage, and Black Mage. That Red Mage could probably have better been placed as a Time Mage. Because really I'm not going to use the Red Mage. I have a White Mage and a Black Mage. I'd rather just use them independently like I am now to more effect than they would do combined. Although combined takes one slot rather than two, but you know, you can't use stuff like Scourge on a red mage. And Scourge is freaking insanely good. Much more than it used to be. Give it that much. It used to be fairly crappy, but now Scourge and the other high level black mage spells are more powerful than physical attacks. Including chained physical attacks. Although not like a 9 chain physical attack, that's just ridiculous. That Gaia gear. Which I'll probably give to Fran. I think she may be the only one that can actually use it. Or not, is it Fran or is it uh, Bosch, the monk, that can use it? I don't remember. Where am I? Am I going the right way? I am. There's traps here. Is there anything down this walkway other than enemies that are going to break my chain? There better be, because I'm breaking my chain for this crap. I not The death sound for that thing. It weighs like a billion pounds or something when it falls. High potion. And balance. Balance is alright. Probably won't use it, but it's nice to have it. Apparently we're fighting this thing, which is poking me. It has readied its ability to poke innocent bystanders. Bystanders, yes. That's exactly what I meant to say.
Remember when we first did this and I didn't have the ability, ow, to fast forward and break my wrist on the desk? My ability to speak along with it. Remember those days? It took like an entire set to get through this area. Now I've been screwing around and we're probably still going to get through this and maybe even... Maybe even part of the dungeon after the boss. The current rate. Oh, don't call us slow. Worst status ailment ever, except for stop. Stop is arguably worse than slow. Also, sand sea. Beaches. Different color sand than the sea. How? Might as well kill this dude for another stone or whatever. I mean, what's the worst he could do? Kill us? Jeez. We need to go this way anyway, so. Huzzah! And there should be a shop over yonder and a save point before we enter the boss. Hello. There is a save point, but it's the zone, I think. We're level 18. Why have you come to such a place? The Valley of the Dead? Yeah, I know you're a merchant. I talked to you before we came over here. Although how you got here before us, I don't know. So, new sword. Um, healing rod, which is actually pretty good. It's a bit weird to, to set up gambits for it. It is pretty good, though. Excuse me. I should go ahead and look at the licenses first before we go through the buy stuff. It's always weird deciding to do the licenses or purchase stuff first. It's, it's just like I never, never figure out what I should do first. And I don't know what level of stuff they have in the shop. Probably four since the Lohengrin is there. Lohengrin? Lohengrin? Whatever this thing is. Increased physical attack damage. Yeah, sure. Should we get level 3 shields? Those probably aren't there yet. What else can we get, though? Gambit slots for no raisins? The blood sword for no raisins? Get more health. Because, you know, having 1300 health by this point isn't really ridiculous at all. Yeah, sure, why not? I could get Soul Eater if I wanted to. Gain MP after taking damage. Yeah. I'll head down this way a little bit. And again, could get Quickenings. Not going to. Let's focus on our main group right now. Who asked if he can case haste or hastega? I did. That's why I asked it. The holy rod? I've already forgotten the name of it. Didn't like the rod. No, it's not the rod of faith. That's something entirely different. I don't remember which rod it, ro what rod it was already. So instead... Oh, I kind of have to go this way to get that. Never mind. You should get some what some jeleb, the jeleb, ibs. I don't even know how to say that. Much less what it is. Increased magic potency. What is this? Magic potency opens up stuff. Opens up more magic potency. And I can get this too. We didn't actually get her any armor, do we? Of level three. With wizard stuff, which I should put on her, to be honest. Might as well get that. And she's on level 2 staff. They're probably not going to have a better staff than that. They're probably not going to have better magic than we already have. Now we determined that a while ago. <laughs> Seems a lot of classes have D 